Thanks to Marvel and DC, shared movie universes are the new big thing in Hollywood. But comic book movies didn't start the trend. Filmmakers have long been looking for intricate ways to connect their projects, including fan-favorite director Quentin Tarantino. Here are Screen Rant's 10 hidden clues to Tarantino's shared universe. Brothers in Crime We don't learn everyone's real name in Reservoir Dogs. What we do eventually learn is that Mr. Blonde is actually Vic Vega. Okay, let's talk. Moviegoers were able to see Tarantino's love of continuity when his breakout hit Pulp Fiction was released years later, starring John Travolta as the greasy-haired Vincent Vega. Tarantino would later confirm the two characters were brothers, and he even planned to film a prequel starring the siblings before their respective films. Sadly, due to the actors' ages, the project never came to be. That's a damn shame. Son of the Bear Tarantino's universe even includes a film that he wrote, but didn't direct. True Romance features a character by the name of Lee Donowitz, who works as a Hollywood film producer. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fast forward to Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards, and viewers are introduced to Sergeant Donnie Donowitz, aka The Bear Jew. That last name isn't a coincidence. The director has stated that Lee is actually Donnie's son. Maybe knowing that his father assassinated Hitler in a bloody movie theater rampage inspired Lee to forge his own career path. Tarantino characters certainly like their pop culture. Mad Max, that's a movie. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, that's a movie. Rio Bravo, that's a movie. Movies within movies. Tarantino has revealed that some of his works are movies that exist within his own movie universe. In other words, his everyday characters are apparently able to watch From Dusk Till Dawn or Kill Bill at their local movie theater. Do you like to get pie after you see a good movie? As just one example, the cast and plot of Kill Bill matches Mia Wallace's failed pilot Fox Force 5 so closely, it seems like someone adapted the TV show for the big screen and brought Mia back to reprise her role. Big Kahuna Burger It's known as one of Pulp Fiction's most famous scenes. Jules Winfield enjoys a stolen bite from a restaurant with an unforgettable name, Big Kahuna Burger. This is a tasty burger. At first, it seems like an amusing way around product placement, but it's actually become a running theme in Tarantino's universe. Audiences first got a glimpse of Big Kahuna in Reservoir Dogs, when Mr. Blonde enters the film's central warehouse, and it's even been featured in From Dusk Till Dawn. They do make a tasty burger, so the popularity makes sense. Red Apple Let's keep going with our theme of Tarantino's signature brands. Red Apple cigarettes also make frequent appearances, most famously in Pulp Fiction, when Boxer Butch gets a pack at the bar. A pack of Red Apples. Build this. None. But he's not the only one who uses them. Red Apples are also seen in From Dusk Till Dawn and Kill Bill, which showcases a giant billboard. It's interesting to consider that Red Apples are more prominently featured in the movies within movies than in the real life movies, which might be a cheeky commentary on the prevalence of product placement in Hollywood. Tarantino strays away from it, but the minds behind Kill Bill don't. A nurse named Bonnie. When Mr. Orange is shot at the beginning of Reservoir Dogs, his life depends on him getting immediate medical attention needs to avoid the hospital for obvious reasons, so he becomes reliant on nice guy Eddie to find the right doctor for treatment. Eddie mentions a nurse named Bonnie who might be able to help. It seems like a throwaway comment, but consider this. In Pulp Fiction, the character Jimmy, who's played by Tarantino himself, has a wife named Bonnie, who also works as a nurse. That could just be a very big coincidence, but with all the crazy connections between the two crime flicks, we wouldn't bet on it. Well, I can't prove it, but since thinking don't cost nothing, I can think it, and I do. The Lonely Grave of Paula Schultz In 2012, audiences were introduced to the charming and sentimental Dr. King Schultz of Django Unchained. But his story may have begun years before the Civil War era story was released. In Kill Bill Volume 2, the bride escapes from a grave of one Paula Schultz, who died in 1898. The years make it hard to say if the two characters are directly linked, but Tarantino has teased a subtle connection to his larger universe in Django. The other candidate would be the outlaw Crazy Craig Coons, seen on a wanted poster who happens to share a name with Christopher Walken's Captain Coons in Pulp Fiction. Mr. White in Alabama We learned some of Mr. White's backstory in Reservoir Dogs. Joe Cabot mentions that White once had a partner named Alabama, whom White hasn't worked with for years. It's hard to forget a name like that, and when True Romance introduced a character named Alabama Whitman Worley, the connection was obvious. The Alabama of True Romance is supposed to be the same accomplice Mr. White is speaking of. It's too bad we never got to see a movie of their exploits together because it would have been a crazy and entertaining one for sure. The Brothers Dim. Mr. White's connections to the shared universe don't stop with Alabama. We also get to see one of his blood relatives featured in Pulp Fiction. It's none other than Jimmy Dimmick, the character that Tarantino memorably played in the film. The evidence is scarce, but it's still there. Mr. White's real name is Lawrence Dimmick. 
Some may question if the two really are related, but Tarantino showed us with the Vega siblings he's not afraid to pull this trick. And Dimmick seems like an oddly specific last name. As for how it's possible Tarantino and Harvey Keitel have roles in both Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction, we'll leave that one up to you. One Tough Sheriff It's hard to forget the introduction of Sheriff Earl McGraw in the first Kill Bill. He's the stoic lawman played by Michael Parks, and accompanied by his son and deputy, also played by Parks' real-life son James. Die-hard Tarantino fans will remember McGraw from his first appearance in From Dusk Till Dawn, having apparently survived the terror of the infamous Gecko Brothers. Sheriff McGraw would return for the director's grindhouse movie Death Proof, where his daughter Dakota is also introduced, linking Tarantino's movies within movies with a single family. Those are our picks for hidden clues to Tarantino's shared movie universe. Are there any we missed? Which connections are your favorites? Sound off in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.